if I could explain how I feel right now. But it's not me. It's actually not me. It's it's the words. It's the power. When Jesus was walking through the busy street, then the lady came up to her, up to him, and just touched the cloth of his dress, and she was healed. He felt the power, and it wasn't his power. It was her faith. I've got this friend who's, who had COVID. He was in the hospital, and was about to leave and then had a stroke. Young, he's 36. Hold one side of his body, arm, tongue, speech. Speech is taking a while. And he doesn't believe in any gods or spirits or strengths or spirituality. But the prognosis came back from all the heads of departments about his arm. And they said it wasn't looking very good. And he said now in his talking speak, the scissors, the speak is half interfered from the stroke, if you know what I'm saying. You just sent me the message now. I wish I could play it for you. Actually, I'll make a proper video so you could actually hear him. And he said, no, he's going to do like Lionel said, divine health, divine healing. And the very next day, he moved his arm above his head and behind. Do you know how much that means when it's been taken away from you? And then to get it back out of, the doctor said, no, it wasn't my power. It was his power of his command, of his speech, of his reality, of his choice of his will that's what god gave you the will for the will to live the will to heal the will to believe not the will just to worship but to give thanks you can look into the camera if you just look at that little pinprick then it'll look so much better when you're engaging. It worked. And I knew it did. And I'm getting younger because I believe in divine health and divine healing instead of the thought of destruction and apocalypse and the end of the world. And hatred to the next person who doesn't understand my situation instead of complaining in my mind about that person misunderstanding my situation I just make it in amb ambiguous and say divine love divine healing divine understanding divine wisdom divine forgiveness divine strength divine security divine opportunities divine health divine healing divine love I'm going mad. And it makes no difference. Don't think the world is being punished. This is how we, we've been taught. This is how exactly how we've been taught, the old ways. The world is being punished because it's been evil and dirty. You have no idea how evil and dirty, and it's that's not why these things happen. It's not for us to know. A tree doesn't grow straight. Nothing does in nature. Because it's of God, nothing is in an angle or straight. That's not God. That's a ruler. A ruler who's been given dominion over. But a God... God is not even an owner, it's, it's, it's part of the furniture. Describe God. Describe you. Because it's Him 
Kevin, his faith that healed himself, and not faith. It's just the will of command of every cell in your body. If you're saying, I hate her, destroy, that's the end of... You're speaking to every cell in your body all the time. And they listen. And that's what you've taught them. They continue on genetically. Because they only live seven years. And so it's knowledge that you have taught it of hatred and disease and... And discomfort, dis-ease, those next cells that get, that replace the future, the old cells, the future cells will only know disease and disorder. Touch the cells, touch the skin that penetrates to whichever cell that needs to be healed. Touch it in a circle, rub it in a circle and believe it is healed because your mind your mind, your brain, so activity is like 95% of your hands. So if you touch wherever it needs to be healed, that, that electricity, that, that contact is there. It's solid. It's like a connection. You're switching on at the plug in the wall. Divine health, divine healing. I read it in the book, What's the Game of Life and How to Play It. If you're forever preaching poverty and ill health and you are portraying it, you will receive poverty and ill health, not the gifts that are there for you to have. But it's tough, hey? If you're in rehab and it's you, you're trying to fix yourself from a specific illness, you've got a lot to concentrate on and you're not concentrating on all the other finances or having the energy to do your normal day-to-day -day work. But when is, if you're actually healthy and fine, then to think like that, not to get waylaid and stay positive <laughs> it's like this week I could have missed exercising but then I wouldn't have had that those extra days of input which are crucial you don't see them immediately you don't feel them immediately but they're an investment and so every day is an investment. And that's why, you know, when you go, when I go out, it's only the black man that will greet you. The white man will not greet you, it's like hardly ever. Certain sometimes when they're running. But generally the white man will not greet me and the black man will, hello, sir, how are you? How was your day? It's will that does that. And there is no will to be cordially, cordial. In the white man left, there's no will left to be cordial. And the black man who rules has been cordial forever. It's, it's in his nature. So he'll continue to be cordial until the one who's not cordial destroys the whites. The whites will die out. That's a terrible ending. But then, do they deserve to live? What good have they done? If you knew how loving the blacks are and how unloving the whites are, 
he would agree the whites have to die out because you don't want that to continue it's like you're repeating death on those cells let them just die then if you can't find cells that you are happy with but give your will over to be happy full of love and health and divine healing get rid of it don't you think tomorrow is heritage day and god knows i love the boers and afrikaners because they are my heritage and we are like the latinos are of central america we are not all white there is a tinge a hinge a hint of green you know that enki green enki for africa there's definitely a little bit of a wild side in the afrikaners and we like we love our beer and our milli meal milli pup and our barbecue braai place and the capes they like the tuburuikis cheese and tomato toasted sandwiches on the barbecue that is a cape side dish for a barbecue not interesting but then there's the poiki oh i should make a poiki tomorrow i got to make a poiki for you yeah i'll make a poiki oh yes yeah, it's a good idea but well, i thank you for watching please like this video hit the little subscribe button tell me what you think ciao for now talk to you